just say go. But I'll, I'll have to go get more cash then. When I saw those, I knew you were going to show up. I know, right? <laughs> hey. So we ended up grabbing a lot of the watches. We got a Seiko, we got a Cordura, we got a few Seikos actually. Another Seiko here, a Wittenauer, and a Belova Accutron. I've learned that when you are at estate sales, yard sales, or even thrift stores, when you're buying watches and they are a little pricey, you want to make sure you go through the watches a little bit just to check their functionality. Sometimes they're a little stuck when you try to rotate the crown and try to move the hands. So when you're spending $20 and up, usually, you want to make sure you're paying for what you get. So what you see here is me going through each watch, moving the hands, adjusting the day and date window, just so I can see exactly what I'm getting into. Some of them weren't in running condition, so... I was already working kind of an uphill battle, but at least if I know that the other functionalities are somewhat good, I know that I'm in good shape and just need to put batteries in these watches to get them up and running. These each have 25 on them. Yeah, this one. But this one we do like 40. Really? This one. 40? 49. Those are yeah, stay in price, I mean, but. Well, I'll, I'll have to go get more cash then. You want it for 49 then? Did you do 40 on it? 45. Alright, that's all. 25, 25, 25, 25. So three 25s? One, tw one and 29. You yeah. have four 25s? Four 25s. Sorry. 129, 145, and this is $2. Two dollars. When I saw those, I knew you were going to show up. I know, right? <laughs> I couldn't resist that. <laughs> So it comes to 176. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate you. All right. All right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and then I have ten. So I have 110. And then just tell me the difference. I'm gonna run and get some extra cash. All right, guys. We are back from the estate sale, and I'm gonna show you guys real quick all the watches that we picked up. So I'm gonna show them right here on the camera right here. We'll look at them pretty closely. I'll start off with one of the Seikos. We'll start off with this Seiko right here. As you can see, check this one out. This is a Seiko SQ. Really, really good condition. Just needs to be polished on the bracelet right there. Original Seiko bracelet. So really good quality piece right there. The next one is another Seiko SQ. There you go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Has some scratches on the crystal right there, but not too bad. It also has an original Seiko bracelet as well. I have not tested these yet, but... They're in really good condition, so I'm sure they're gonna kick up and work. So really nice piece there. Another one is this Seiko. Now I might keep this Seiko. Look at that. Look how beautiful that Seiko is. Wow. Has an, has an original Seiko clasp right here. It does come undone. Right there, there's the reference number. Really, really beautiful piece. 
can complain with that. I might keep this, but I'm not sure. If it kicks up and runs, I might add this to the personal collection. Can't complain with that. Now, this is where we get some of the better pieces. So I'll start off with this one. This is a Belova Accutron. Look at that. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous Belova Accutron Day Date. There's the back. It is a N7, an N7 Belova Accutron. So really, really beautiful piece. Just need to polish up that case right there. So that'll be a good little piece for the our whatnot auctions that'll be coming up soon. And now this one is absolutely spectacular. This is a Wittenauer Electric, guys. Look at that. Look at the condition. You know, I paid up for a lot of these pieces, but what's really cool about this is it actually has an original stretch band on it. See that? An original Wittenauer stretch band. Like I said, I have not tested these yet. This is like a unfiltered kind of reaction of what we picked up. So I'm going to test these and that is an absolutely beautiful piece. Original crown on there as well. So really nice piece there. And last but not least, we have this Cordura Seagull Diver. As you can see, that one is running. This one's actually in pretty decent shape. The case is pretty clean. Um, there's the back there, as you can see. Really nice watch. Bezel does rotate on it. So let's see. Yeah, bezel does rotate. Now what's really cool about this watch is it actually has a Seiko buckle. So this is actually a Seiko strap, as you can see there. This is a Seiko leather strap. It does have some wear and tear on it, but I can probably pull this off of this watch, put this on like another Seiko that I don't have a band for or a bracelet for, and put like a NATO on this one because it's obviously not the original anyway, so it doesn't matter. I can put like a nice NATO on this or another leather strap or some sort. So really, really beautiful piece. The day date works. Obviously this one does run because this one is an automatic. Let's see if I can turn this real quick. Yeah, so as you can see right here, this one has obviously the seagull writing on the, towards the six o'clock of the dial. So really cool. Guys, let me know what you thought about this lot. I would say my favorites are either the Cordura or the Wittenauer Electric. So one of these two is probably my favorite. And then in regards to selling, because those two I'm going to probably sell. And then this one is going to be going into the collection. So the Seiko Quartz Tank is going to go into the collection. So let us know what you thought about this lot. Um, hopefully I can jump back on here and show you guys which ones I tested and which, one are, which ones are working. And make sure you guys go check us out on Galaxy Pickers on Whatnot. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace. All right, so we are back with a segment that we normally don't do. We're gonna show you what actually sold. Jenny doesn't know what we sold. I'm gonna tell her what we sold and what we sold it for. We paid around two to four dollars for this item. I don't remember. You can see it in this video right here. Without further ado, we sold the Jaws by Peter Benchley, <laughs> signed by the author today. So as you can see, if you remember, we sold that in this video right here. We sold this today. We got an offer. I made a counter offer and we sold it for $350. Wow. So going oh from gosh. a couple bucks basically That's to $350. I think after fees, it comes out to like 290 bucks. So it ended up not being a first edition like I thought it was, but it still is an early print. Nonetheless, it is inscribed and signed by the author. All right, so we got this all packaged up. It weighs about a pound and a half, and we can actually ship this via USPS Media Mail. So it's actually only about $5 in shipping. And this is what we ended up netting after fees and after shipping costs, because I did do free shipping on this. So not a bad sale for what we spent on it. And that was a pretty good estate sale overall. And the label is printing out right now. We're gonna slap it on this box and get this shipped out to the bar.